Hey, Evan. Let's get a hipster. Yeah, we can do our next barbell shoot here. Come on, dude. I'm ready. I'm modeling <laughs> it right now. Look at this. That's good, dude. Graffiti artists are so committed. Dude, they came out here. You gotta drive fucking four hours out here. And we're, we've gone, what, at least an hour and a half, no gas stations. Yeah, on either side. Dude, there's lights out here, dude. They're so, look how fresh this paint is. Look, what is this, dude? They probably installed the lights themselves. Dude, just to... Yeah, and there's like even solar panels on them. To show their art off. Don't know where we are. We need gas. We've got about an hour to go. Hopefully we can get gas. If you're running AC in the back of this thing, you got to turn on the generator, and that eats gas, let alone this poor engine that's carrying all our fat asses is eating gas. So we had to turn the generator off. A little warm in there. But hopefully we make it. This is a dope gas station. It reminds me of... I've only seen two Black Mirror episodes. But one of them is, uh, I think it's the museum, and then it's the doctor with the uh, contraption that can feel their, dude, this is hipster shit. He's getting his hipster shit on. He feels his patient's pain. It reminds me of this gas station. I know, it's sick, dude. I'm gonna take pictures, bro. We're right here. Gotta go there. We stopped to pee, random side. A little photo shoot. We're in the middle of nowhere, it's really hot. Where should we go south, dude? We're real close to Mexico. Right here, dude, the big star. Fuck it, let's just drive the cake. That's what I mean, dude. Yeah. Drive down, drop me off, I'll use the rest of my savings. And I'll yeah. Let's see if we can get some souvenirs. He decided to take about 15 miles of streets before he got on the freeway. And I'm literally like two blocks from the freeway. Like, what we have here is a non sponsored post by Flozy. This is that redneck shit we were waiting for. Found these koozies, some beer koozies at a they got last gas station that was like two hours from anything else and they have an auto puncher for shotgunning a beer and then it has holes around that puncher to drink the beer through like a teat and i got nipples greg can you milk me kind of like that so we're gonna fucking test these things out and see if the flozy patent pending is worth while you hear boom go or what uh I think maybe drink it. Oh, go! go, it, goes, go, it, goes, go. it goes! It goes! It goes! Come on, you little 21 year old. Step yeah, up your goddamn Step up your goddamn game. One out of 10 so rating do it, do of the Flozy. Uh, like price, functionality, uh, design. Fun, fun, design, and fun. Solid like 7.6. It could be 10? better. It could be more comfortable. It could look a little cooler. Oh, you thought you don't like the lake design? Who gives a fuck about the Colorado River? All right, all right. One out of ten. Honestly, for reasons that you stated before. Yeah. Ten out of ten. It's probably a ten out of ten, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Dude, you can't put a price dude, on it fun. Can be, it can be better. All right, all right. Now you can't well, put a price on cool. fun. They're only about two beers deep, but they're playing their own version of Barber Brigade Jackass. Nadim's a little bit cheap. He didn't want to pay for the full wax, but we're here at the beach, so Demi's gonna take care of him. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. I can't see shit. Three, two, one. <laughs> Any? What do we got? Did you get it? I'll get it. Try it. Which one has more? Damn, I can't see. You gotta get a good bunch. Why'd you lick your fingers, asshole? That is a little weird, dude. <laughs> hey, bitch, on three, I'm gonna grab your hair. <laughs> go on three. Hey, let go, let go. <laughs> go let on go. three. Let go, go on three. Let go. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna get a grip. I'm gonna get a grip. I'm gonna get a grip. You count. One, really two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we gotta get it. You gotta put it against the sun. Do you oh see that God. shit? Oh, my God. You gotta go against the sun. Beach is done. Time to eat, sun going down. Now the weather finally got nice. This is beautiful. Yvonne's being a maniac. Is there a ladder? No, I climbed up, I jumped. The rest of the crew is showering because they're in that gross ass water. I'm just chilling. Feels good, man. Feels good to hang out with the crew, have some fun. This RV's fucking sick. The view's sick. The sun's going down right now. It's beautiful out here. Weather finally chilled out because it was hot as shit when we first arrived. It's funny because like, I talked to you guys on Instagram a little bit how uh, sound like my two case, but I'm uh, how I don't like to uh, like be shirtless or wear tank tops or I don't know why it's just something within me I don't I don't feel comfortable and it's not that I'm not so comfortable with myself I'm pretty comfortable with who I am as a human but it's just I don't feel comfortable being shirtless and and, I, and plus I don't love the water I don't love to swim uh, I like the water just fine but so I, I know it kind of makes other people uncomfortable 
because they're swimming and that's definitely not my goal um, because it's still all fun like we're playing catch with a tennis ball out there i love that kind of shit i love just being with the crew and hanging out um so it's kind of odd for me it's a hard balance because i don't want to make other people feel weird it's almost like when you're the only one guy that doesn't drink it also sometimes makes them feel weird because then they feel weird about them drinking and leaving you out but i don't feel left out at all uh these are like literally some of my closest friends in the world so i'm just really happy to be hanging out here man i get down a lot and i've talked to you guys a lot about anxiety and slumps and uh i was in a slump for a little while a couple weeks ago probably for a month maybe um didn't want to work didn't know how to work didn't know how to be productive i did the video and i told you guys how i'm kind of staying with my mom while i'm trying to get my house and that makes me feel unproductive uh, i can't really vlog i mean i can but i just don't have anything going on i'm just doing computer work and it's kind of the nitty gritty time right now um, we're making some moves with kaizen making some moves with mama's boys podcast um, and everything's kind of behind the scenes sometimes all the work can't just be done when you want it to be done you have to have patience the work's slowly kind of turning in the background and that's where we are right now and so because of that, nothing's like getting done. I can't see the progress and I get down on myself. I get down on life. I get down on the content, but appreciate you all for kicking it with me and staying with me. It uh, feels really good. I, I do, although I deal with some depression, I deal with some anxiety and I get down. Uh, I'm very, very lucky uh, to live the life I live. And I know that I have so many blessings. My mom, my friends, my job, the hands I was dealt to begin with, you know, having a great dad and all that. But doesn't mean I can't get down, players. Doesn't mean you can't get down either. Sometimes we just go through our spots, but uh, if you keep chipping away, keep doing something, hopefully come out the other uh, other end a little bit stronger. So I'm feeling really good. About to go eat dinner, see what happens. Probably sleep. I'm probably gonna sleep up here. Hopefully, this turns into a bunk that I'm sitting on. This turns into a bunk. I didn't show you guys the RV too much. We'll do it where everybody's going. <clears throat> Here's a dope little bunk right here. Looks comfiest to me, and it's just furthest away. I like being secluded. I like a wall I can lean into. It makes me feel safe. This turns into a bed. A little messy this turns into a bed we have uh baby taika's bed two bunks here which i wouldn't mind either they just look a little bit smaller and i'm a thick dude even though we have a big crew with us and then bart's master bed which is actually pretty nice like i would love to have an rv i don't know what i'd do with it but it would be sick to have something like this me and bar keep talking about like would you buy one like i don't know if i'd buy one because where do you park it during like regular life and then what do you do with it afterwards so who knows but um there's actually a bunch of food here. I didn't know, I've never been to Havasu, so I didn't know what it was gonna be, but there's a bunch of, uh, there's a little city, so hopefully grab something decent for dinner. Catch you guys at dinner. Bye. Don't know what to do with my hands. Don't know how to transition. Connor, do some B-roll, make it look cool, bro. All right, later, bye. No, dude. What are you trying to make beef? Then tell him how you ruined the steak. Tell Why? Because I want medium? Yeah, you asked for beef jerky. You don't like medium? No medium medium rare, dude. It depends on the spot. It's either medium rare or rare. I don't like rare rare. I normally do medium just because then uh, most places know what medium is, where medium rare or rare, I feel like varies a little bit. That's a very judgmental friend of mine over there. Don't mind him. In the... Can you not fucking record everything dude, I say? Dude, what are you saying, dude? Nothing. Why are you saying so many inappropriate say things, dude? Yeah. Hey, you guys don't wake me up and scare me in the morning. <laughs> You'll probably just do it in the middle of the night. Everyone's getting ready for bed. Where are you sleeping, dude? Next to Steph Curry? In his grave? What happened tonight, dude? Tell the people, dude. Don't worry about it. With that fake ace hat. I know you're a Giants fan. Don't Go, worry continue. about it, dude. Continue. Don't worry about it. I was a Nick Swisher fan growing up, alright? It's a fucking dude. Thank you. Where you so mad, dude? Is it James Harden or what? Are you mad that you can't wear Nike? Are you never yeah, gonna, fired. Are you never going to hey, uh, Are you never going to grow a beard ever in your life? What the fuck? Up. Are you actually don't like James Harden just because you have Why a baby face? Why do you put face? so much mayo on your food, dude? <laughs> <laughs> they make these white people jokes about me not salting or putting mayo on my steak. I hate mayo and I don't get the salt joke, all right? I just don't even get it, dude. I don't even get the jokes. We're going to bed. Nads took the king bed all by himself without the weight limit. Selfish, huh? Hey, Self I'm looking Evan. for you guys. Elvin, I know you live, live with him. He's probably a very selfish lover. Have you seen I'd the imagine. size of his room? Have you seen the size Have of his hog? Have you seen the size of <laughs> I haven't. This guy will wash clothes at like 2 a.m. The, wash the washer and dryer is literally <laughs> under my bed. Inconsiderate. I'm just laying there just... Well, let me go. <laughs> I'll be inconsiderate, dude. This guy. I'm, I'm just giving him a free... Bed massage. That's inconsiderate, dude. Dude, does your bed have a massage feature? Why did you do a massage feature? A massage finger? Does your house come with obnoxiously loud roommates? <laughs> yeah, I hey, Mike. So. Mike, come here. 
Come here. We're here. Just come here. Yeah, we're here. Dude. Come here. Do it again. I'll zoom it in as you tell me. No, no, just come here. Just Mike. It's funny. Come here. Are you gonna fart? Oh my no, god. No, I swear to God. Come here. <laughs> I made you call the old finger. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs>